Home Depot earnings just crossing right now. Courtney Reagan joins us with the numbers. Courtney. Hi, good morning, Melissa. So Home Depot is beating earnings expectations here with $3.81. That compares to $3.76 consensus. Revenue is also stronger than the street forecast at $37.71 billion versus $37.6 billion for that estimate. Total comparable store sales, they did fall 3.1 percent, but that's better than expectations for a 3.6 percent drop. U.S. comp sales down 3.5 percent. That is the fourth straight quarter that we've seen those numbers fall. Now, Home Depot is narrowing its full year sales and comparable sales forecast to fall between 3 and 4 percent compared to the prior drop of 2 and 5 percent. The home improvement retailer will also narrow its full year earnings guide to fall between 9 and 11 percent from 7 and 13 percent. The midpoints, though, of those ranges do stay the same here with one quarter to go. I spoke to Home Depot CFO Richard McPhail briefly, who said, quote, the consumer and particularly the home owning consumer, who is our customer, customer is healthy. They're employed. They've seen income gains and wealth gains in recent years. They have excess savings and they remain engaged. They are deferring larger projects, and we've seen that through the year. And while McPhail acknowledges that higher rates are keeping some homeowners from moving, he also said, quote, demand for remodeling, that balances out the pressure that you see from lower housing turnover. We don't quite know how to quantify that balance, however. And obviously, shares of Home Depot have been under pressure down about 13 percent since last reporting. It looks like here in early going up by about a percent. We don't often see big moves in this stock on earnings day, Melissa, but we'll see once we get even more color from that earnings call at 9 a.m. Back over to you. Courtney, it looks like average ticket is down. I mean, yep. last quarter we saw this dynamic where tickets were up, I believe, but <clears throat> No, tickets were down, but sales were up, implying that inflation was behind a lot of the gain. Are we seeing a reversal of that with inflation coming down? It, it does. It does seem to be the case. There, we talked a little bit with Richard McPhail about the normalization, too, of the supply chain and inventory being better in stock. Um, both the average ticket and transaction were down here a little bit in the quarter, but largely did come in as expected for the most part for both the company and for analysts. Although, again, we talked about the beat at the top for the earnings and revenue, though it is interesting that both of those analyst estimates numbers had come down just in the last week to 10 days or so. So, yes, they beat, but, uh, you know, those numbers for the analysts were expecting the expectations had fallen there, too. All right. Courtney, thanks. Thanks. Courtney Reagan. Yeah. You like Home Depot, you certainly got a chance here. 414 is the high, 288. That's uncharacteristic for a two-year uh, performance. That was back in in uh, not, two, not two years, I guess, but yeah, 12 of 21, uh, right in the height of all the, I don't know why Home Depot is a COVID shut-in stock, but I guess it makes sense. But What, you're, you're sitting at home, you yep. notice you got to regrout your tile? I, I, that's I all mean, I can that's figure. That's what happens, right? Yeah, I, no, I mean. Not, maybe not in your household. No, right. <laughs> to, to some people, could you, could, would you know my tile? Regrout your tile? That, is that assuming you grabbed it? Into, that's I, know you, I, I, huh? I know I got a call. I know I got a call. That's important. Yeah, exactly. Or you know a guy who knows a guy. Right. The call. Right, the contract. Who handles takes, those. Takes, <laughs> takes, I have someone like that. I do. Percent to I have percent. Some, yes. A exactly. handler for the people. Yes. I, yeah, need to I have be a big. I have a large. Estate. No, but I mean I've got a lot of things that's old. 